1960, the year the Oakland Raiders franchise began playing home games in San Francisco in the American Football League, Dean Martin had a hit called, Ain't That a Kick in the Head? So Oakland and Alameda taxpayers, who have money invested in the Oakland Coliseum, must have thought, Ain't That a Kick in the Head? when the word came out that Raiders ownership has an $800,000 unpaid parking tab at the stadium. The $800,000 figure is spare change, but the fact that Davis and his partners did not turn that money over to the Coliseum Stadium Authority could jeopardize the remaining two years on the team's lease with the authority. Davis will be looking for a home in 2019 because it is unlikely his Las Vegas abode will be ready. There are questions about Davis's franchise leaving the Oakland factory for a new factory in Las Vegas that have not been answered. Were Davis and his Raiders partners losing money? In sports, except for a few cases, where the financial books are open, much is unknown about teams' profits and losses. The publicly owned Green Bay Packers franchise released a financial statement prior to the 2016 season declaring a 48 $0.9 million profit in 2015. The Green Bay franchise ranked ninth in revenue in the league, coming in at around $222 million. There is only guesswork about the financial statements of the other 31 NFL teams. It is not known how much money the Raiders football franchise generates and whether the business makes a profit or not. There is also a question of how Oakland is going to pay the remaining debt on the 1996 Coliseum renovation but that's not Mark Davis's problem. He's getting public assistance in building his new factory three quarters of a billion dollars from Nevada. Meanwhile, he owes Oakland some $800,000 in parking fees. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.